This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So let's take a look again in the gold market. The gold market situation has taken some relief yesterday and uh, on, in fact on the daily time frame within the whole current week it's not much to discuss because in fact price action stands inside of the range of this frosting candle that has appeared here on previous Thursday at the FMC meeting and that very often happens when some significant candle appears it holds overall price action for a, a long period so uh, price just needs some time to accommodate for new range, some for new events and very often price stands inside of the range of this candle for some time. And uh, as a rule the direction of the breakout out from this range, out of the range of this big candle, um, in fact becomes the direction of further action on the market. That's why from the standpoint of Daily time frame is not much to say here. So we see some tight consolidation on the current week. Uh, that's why we mostly trade gold on intraday charts on the current week. Um, and in fact, our trading on the current week is also comes to an end because today is Friday. Market has completed our target on the intraday charts. We will see it a bit later. Well, here uh, what we could say: the fact is the same that the bearish stop grabber that has been formed on Friday on previous Friday is still valid. Market just just shows the retracement upper inside of the body of this uh, bearish stop grabber and guys by today's action by, by the action on the current week it seems that market that st this stop grabber has nice chances to work and nice chances to take out of these lows. Uh, I will try to explain you why I think so. Mostly uh, we will see the um, we will see the reasons for that on the lower time frames. Let's start from the 4 hour chart. On the 4 hour chart, uh, we say that the first target that market will hit will be this area. It's 50% level, it's 127 extension of our butterfly that we have discussed. In fact, uh, on the current week, we trade this butterfly right at the 768 support that we have discussed also, because that could be the starting point of the butterfly to the upside. But here is very significant moment that we said. Uh, we have needed that market uses this reversal pattern that is now that ha has been formed here. I speaking about the butterfly and that recently has shifted to the reverse head and shoulders on the hourly time frame. It has to use uh, has to use it for uh, upward continuation as a triggering pattern. But market hasn't done this. In fact. Now it's forming on the forward time frame chart. It looks like the rising wage pattern, that is a uh, potentially bearish pattern, and very often market uh, it's just looks like the pennant on the daily time frame. We see this bearish divergence, uh, that is very typical for the forming of the wedge pattern. By the forming of this wedge, I can't exclude that market, in fact, could reach the 618 levels, 1384, because that is will be our first swing, second, third, fourth. And on the fifth swing market could break it to the downside. That is possible. It not uh, it not necessarily has to happen because very often we could get the breakout right from this area. That's also possible. But if this will happen, it n not necessarily will mean that market is ready to continue move high. That will be just the same consolidation inside of this range. Besides, that could become the three drive sale pattern. That is also we should keep an eye on. Okay. So in just a minute I will add the 127 extension so we will see where it stands. Okay, relatively close to the 1618 of this swing so that could be right around the 618 resistance. So that I can't exclude that this could be the free drive. But currently it's not quite clear uh, rather market will, whether the market will continue to move high and will form this free drive or it ready to fall down with the bearish time grabber that had been formed on the daily time frame right here. Because 
On the daily time frame, as you can see, it just looks like the small flag pattern that could be broken in a, anyway, uh, any time, at any time, any t moment of time. Maybe even t today, who knows? Well, but that's the f pattern that is forming right now. It and in this pattern doesn't suggest our major task, as you remember, was to estimate whether market uh, continue move higher or it will just accomplish some targets of these patterns and turn to the downside. And the appearing of the bearish wedge, rising wedge, doesn't suggest some further continuation, at least as it looks like as it looks right now. On the hourly chart, we see that market just accomplished the minimum target that usually a uh, market reaches after the creating of the reversal head and shoulders pattern. So that is just ABC pattern that is based on the shape of the uh, reversal pattern. Uh, that is also in agreement with the 50% resistance of that swing down. And now market is showing the deep retracement. Well, in general, guys, uh, when the market hits the target of ABCD pattern, the 618 retracement is normal. And after that, market in general could continue move to the 1618 target. That's very common. Hidden, small extension, 618 market usually shows no retracement or just small retracement. Here we have no retracement, then reaching the 100%, the 618 could follow. That's normal. And after that, market could proceed higher. But in general, uh, if we speak about the potential reversal of the market to the upside, and we speak about the potential butterfly that could be formed here to the upside, I think that uh, market probably should not show this real significant move. Maybe. Uh, it should use this as starting point, as la la launching target, uh, launching pattern to the upside. Uh, that should just uh, put the foundations, the start, the reversal pattern. Market should accelerate further here. That is usually should look like. But here we have gradual action, uh, deep retracement. That makes me think that in general uh, we probably sh should will follow with this. So the 1618 move to the upside probably will lead us to this same area right here. We could get this free drive or something. Um, so this at least currently doesn't look like the uh, starting the reversal and upward continuation. That's probably looks like more just the consolidation and uh, some bearish retracement, bearish bearish pattern. This market stands, this is rising wedge. That could be the free drive sell. That probably will, that we will get on the gold market. Then market probably will show more to the downside. Uh, we'll see. Uh, anything could happen, of course, especially uh, at the eve of the October, where we get a, a lot of different events. Uh, I just have talked about it in the year research. I'm speaking about the F uh, FMC meeting, about the debt sale on the United States on the 17th of October, about the non-farm payrolls release. So that could be the really shaking events for the market, uh, for all markets, and probably uh, the market on the summer when could fall and show this upper action, something of that sort. Maybe we'll see that. But at least how it stands right now, this really uh, doesn't impress me much. And uh, now, uh, by the situation is forming here, it really looks like the just market will complete this retracement up with this upper uh, wage pattern. Maybe this will be the three drive and then market should fall to the downside. Let's see.